Hi, welcome back. I wanted to share with you a bug I found with my BFF8 HP Pro radio. It's not actually a bug on the radio, but a bug in the programming software for this radio. Um, I decided I was checking out the features on this and I went to try out the FM radio. And you push the programmable key here, the quick press. Let's turn this up so you can hear it. And as you can tell, the FM radio is not working. There's actually two programmable keys. There's the orange one here and the black one here. And the black one I had programmed to scan the radio. You can, you can set them to um, several different functions. But anyway, the one here should be turning off and on the radio. So let's go ahead and look at the software that comes with this radio. And I'll, I'll show you what's in the settings for this. E-Tech software downloaded uh, for this particular radio. I have it, um, I have the radio hooked up and let's go ahead and read from the radio. The nice thing about this radio is, um, and this software is it, it downloads and uploads pretty quick. And this is what I used when I programmed the radio. I like the software. So as soon as I bought this radio, I downloaded the software and uploaded my frequencies to it. So as far as I know, this radio has never worked. So if you go to the window here and look at the radio function, we can look and we can see that the FM radio is enabled. And then looking for S key one, I don't see it. And that's the orange button on the top left hand side. And then we also have a black button below uh, the microphone key, which is SK2. And in this um, and in this case, I have it set to scan, but um, I found it funny that there was no SK1. So anyway, I program my radio, and then I I can write back to the radio. And again, after I upload to the radio. The FM radio still does not work. So let me show you what I did to figure this out, what the problem was. All right, so even after uploading to the radio with the radio showing on, it still does not work. So what I did was I went into the menu and let's go to radio settings. And let's see if we can find the programmable keys in here. And I think it's right around. Okay. There it is. It's item 27 does SK1 and 28 does SK2. So if we look at SK1, it shows it's on FM radio. But just for the heck of it, I thought I would go, okay, uh, maybe the software is messing it up. So let's select FM radio again. And it saved it. So let's exit out and try now the SK1 key on what that meant. Um, and, you know, as people supported me, I knew somebody. And as we can see, the radio works now. So if your FM radio is not working, you are going to have to go into the radio itself and make sure that you have FM radio selected on the programmable key on the SK1 top left hand corner. Now, when this originally did happen, I had it was on a Sunday and I contacted BTECT through email 
And I heard back from them within an hour. I was shocked on the Sunday. And they were very nice. They wanted me to create a video and download the problem to them. And I did that. And before I heard back from them, I discovered what the problem was on my own. And I wrote back to them and shared it with them. And they had told me that um, they're waiting for, it's probably Beofang who writes the software. They're waiting for the software update to correct that problem. But I was very impressed with their customer support. So there you have it. If your FM radio is not working, more than likely it's because you use the BTEC software to program your radio. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.